Hi, this is Asin. Did you like to share how to solve this limit? In this video, we are going to apply the binomial theorem. Before that, we can let x be equal to 1 over n with the negative sign. So which means that n is equal to negative 1 over x. As n approaches infinity, x approaches 0. We can now have 1 minus 1 over n to the power of n is equal to 1 plus x to the power of negative 1 over x. If you don't like negative as power, we can let y be equal to 1 plus x to the power of negative 1 over x. So which means that if we take the reciprocal, we should have 1 over y is equal to 1 plus x to the power of 1 over x. And now we should compare with the binomial theorem. As we can see, a is basically x. And for the power n, which is equal to 1 over x. And now we can apply the formula. So which means that we have 1 plus x to the power of 1 over x is equal to 1 over 0 factorial plus n for this case is 1 over x over 1 factorial. A for this case is x. x to the power of 1 plus 1 over x times 1 over x minus 1 over 2 factorial x to the power of 2 plus 1 over x times 1 over x minus 1 times 1 over x minus 2 over 3 factorial x to the power of 3 and so on. We can simplify. So we have 1 over 0 factorial plus 1 over x times x eliminate each other left only 1 over 1 factorial plus 1 over x, we can factorize 1 over x for this term. So which means that when we take out 1 over x times 1 over x, we obtain 1 over x squared. And this term should be now 1 minus x over 2 factorial x squared plus 1 over x. Again, applying the same idea, we factorize 1 over x. So 1 over x times 1 over x, 1 over x squared. But then we have another term here, so we factorize also 1 over x. So 1 over x squared times 1 over x become 1 over x cubed. And this term should be x times 1 over x, which is 1, and we minus x times 1 minus 2x over 3 factorial x cubed and so on. We can now apply the limit x approaches 0 for the function 1 plus x to the power of 1 over x is equal to, since this is without the term x, so we can write exactly the same since it's constant and we plus 1 over 1 factorial plus simplify, so we have 1 over x squared cancel with x squared, so no more constant take out 1 over 2 factorial so the limit should be now here 1 minus x and we plus constant take out 1 over 3 factorial limit also simplify so this one cancel with this one and be left 1 minus x times 1 minus 2x and so on this term remain remain plus 1 over 2 factorial. When we substitute 0 to this function, 1 minus 0 is equal to 1. So 1 times anything, we get back the same thing. And so for the next term, 1 over 3 factorial, and so on. From here, we can see that this is actually the series expansion of the Euler's number, which is e. From here, we can say that the limit x approaches 0 for the function 1 over y is actually the limit x approaches 0 for the function 1 plus x to the power of 1 over x. And this limit use e, the value, and then we can apply the properties of limit. We can take the reciprocal of both sides and we should obtain limit x approaches 0 for the function y is equal to 1 over e. So which means that the limit as n approaches infinity for the function 1 minus 1 over n to the power of n, we should obtain 1 over e, and hence we done. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.